The most difficult part of constructing a complicated geometry is to analyze the final construction in more simple components. For example, in this church, we can analyze the whole construction in five main parts. Part A, Part B, Part C, Part D, and finally, Part E. By putting all the parts together, we can produce the final building. The first step is to study the constructive drawings of the church with the appropriate dimensions. Let's start from the beginning. We start a new drawing based on the ACAD DWT template. Using units command, we declare meters in the insertion scale field. We use the DDV point command for a 3D view and we define the conceptual visual style. We can construct the internal part of the first component of the church as a combination of standard geometry solids. Let's make our first box with dimensions 1.6 by 3.8 by 2.8 using the box command and starting from a random point. We'll make another box 1.6 by 2.6 by 4.1 in another position. We change the view using DDV point command and have a closer view using the zoom command in the corner of the second box. We construct another box from the endpoint of the last box and we define the appropriate relative coordinates as minus 0 0.1 by minus 1 by 2.9. We draw a cylinder with its center in the midpoint of the external edge of the last box with the radius 0 0.5 and height 2.9. Using the fillet command, we make the curve of 0 0.5 radius on the edge on the top of the cylinder. After a closer view using the zoom command, we use the fillet command to make the two curves to the two edges on the top of the small box. Returning to the previous view, using again the zoom command, we use the mirror command to make the symmetrical objects of the original ones, keeping them also. We use the zoom command with extents option to get the whole view of the drawing. After that, we use the fillet command with radius 1.3 to make the two curves to the two edges on the top of the left big box. With the same command and with radius 0 0.8, we make the two curves to the two edges on the top of the first box. Returning to the previous view with the zoom command, we use the move command to bring the first box in the right position. Using the union command, we get all the solids using the crossing selection method, and we construct the internal part of part A of our church. In order to construct the outer complex solid of part A, we draw the cross section of the solid as a closed polyline using several commands as P line, line, circle, offset, trim, and P edit. Using either the 3D rotate or the rotate 3D command, we bring the cross section perpendicular to the XY plane. We give extrusion height 2.1 to the cross section using the extrude command. We use the move command to bring together the two solids. We change the view using the DDV point command and have a closer view using the middle button of the mouse. We draw two cylinders with radius 1 and height 3.4 using the OSNAP center of the two existing half cylinders. Using the fillet command, we make the curve of the radius 1 on the edges on the top of the two cylinders. We make a compact solid using the union command by selecting the two cylinders and the outer part of part A of the church. We return to the previous view using the zoom command. We subtract from the outer part the inner and finally we have the desired result. Using similar techniques we can complete our construction and this will be the subject of the free seminar on the site which starts early in October 2008.